Hi. The earlier videos on the neonatal radiology series, we had reviewed how to read the normal X-ray, chest X-ray, and we also looked at the endotracheal tube position. In this video, we'll be looking at position of umbilical lines, the umbilical arterial catheter and the umbilical venous catheter. So as we all know, the umbilical venous catheter is usually inserted to provide access for infusions, PPN and uh, inotropes, even blood products can be used. The duration for which we retain the umbilical venous catheter varies, but most of us try to remove it by 7 to 10 days. You make the decision whether you need the pick line by that time, and if the baby is likely to reach full feeds, you retain for 2-3 days more, otherwise you remove it and replace with the pick line. Umbilical arterial catheter is inserted mainly for blood gas and sampling and also for invasive blood pressure monitoring. It's very valuable in the management of the very sick babies, including the extreme premature babies, where sampling will be very difficult if not for the UAC. We tend to keep the umbilical arterial catheter for the shortest, shortest duration possible. So when your sampling needs reduce, when the baby is clinically stable, so you need to monitor blood pressure reduces, you remove it. Sometimes we keep it in the extreme premature babies for 10 to 14 days, but that's the upper limit usually. In terms of position, so you can see that we have the anatomy for the artery, so the internal iliac artery, the superior gluteal artery joins in and the umbilical artery actually joins through the superior gluteal artery into the internal iliac, comes into the aorta. So we should remember that these vessels have to be avoided. So the uh, celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery, the renal vessels and then the inferior mesenteric. So these are all arising uh, in the aorta and below L1. And so we don't want to be around uh, T11 and below so that the variations can be covered. In terms of uh, the venous anatomy and ideal UVC placement, so it's very complex. Many times we struggle to get the UVC in the right position because it can head into any of these vessels when we are inserting. So the umbilical vein is coming in. It can turn uh, into this umbilical recess, the portal vein. If it is tilting towards the left, I mean right on the baby, towards the left on the X-ray, so it can be going into the hepatic plexus. It ideally should be going into the inferior vena cava and the right atrium. So it can also go into the ductus venous as if it is tilting towards the left of the baby, which is right on the X-ray, maybe looping down into the ductus venoses. It may be looping down into the hepatic vessels, or it may be going here uh, into the portal plexus. So it can be going into any of these. So we have to avoid intrahepatic positioning of the uh, umbilical venous catheter, which means not overlapping with the liver on the X-ray, but where it's going into one of the hepatic vessels, the portal vessels, uh, the ductus venosus or the hepatic plexus. The best position is in the inferior vena cava just before it joins the atrium. So uh, this is the target position. So the T5 is where the internal mammary arises. So T6 to T10. Uh, so T10 is safe because uh, T11, T12 onwards, you may start getting the vessels branching if there are variations. But sometimes we uh, accept uh, upper border of T11. The UVC has to be straight, so it shouldn't be tilting to the side. That's why it's very important to get the X-ray done without rotation. It should not be in the heart. Of course, uh, a slight uh, as half a centimeter or so above the diaphragm may still mean it's in the IVC, but better to be, uh, I mean, clear about that. So we can pull it back down uh, so that it's below or at the level of the diaphragm. And this is the ideal position for the umbilical uh, arterial catheter. So this is acceptable as well at the uh, T10 level or so. So you measure the 12th rib is here and you have the carina which is usually a T4 level and the clavicle attachment. Uh, so according to that you can count the vertebral numbers and T6 to T10 is ideal for UAC and uh, 
in the T89 range for the UVC, it should be straight going up and preferably it should not be above the diaphragm. Of course, that depends on the inflation of the lung as well. So it can vary from time to time. And even in the terms of umbilical catheters, it's a good practice to repeat the X-ray after 24 to 48 hours. So we are clear about not migrating. Again, you have to have some way of securing it where you can monitor the distance. So this should be checked with every shift and if any displacement, it should be reviewed. I hope uh, this short video is useful. Thank you.